are what you eat. Food does matter. All right, there you have a clip from the movie Food Matters, and the two uh, directors are here, uh, James Colhoun and Laurentine Tenbosch. Thanks very much for being Honestly, here. It's great to be here. Uh, I watched it last night, and as I said to you a moment ago, uh, I felt watching it that everything I was doing was wrong. <laughs> um, what I got from the movie was two things. First off, um, it's really, in the movie, it really, I don't want to say preaches, because that's not the right word, but it really puts across the fact that eating raw is a lot healthier than, than processed foods. And a, a stat that I didn't know, which is interesting, is that most foods, as soon as you start to cook them, even a light steam, you lose 40% of the nutrients in yeah. vegetables. It's, it's amazing. I mean, you must have been amazed when you first Absolutely, started yeah. thinking about all these things. The, the research has been out for a while, but it, it, was, it was fascinating for us to learn all of this information. And I think the main thing that we're trying to get across is people aren't introducing enough raw organic plants, plants, fruits and vegetables into their diet. And by doing that, you're improving the enzymes and the nutrition in your body, and that helps prevent a lot of illnesses. And what the film goes to show is it can reverse a lot of illnesses as well. What got you guys interested in, in doing this? Well, it started off when um, James's father, he got really ill. He had, like, typical chronic fatigue, like burnt out middle age syndrome. And okay. we started doing our own research, and we started getting so fascinated by all the opportunities that are out there naturally to help overcome these illnesses. Right. Um, and we helped him overcome his illness, and mm. he's now, like, top of the world. But there are so many things you can do naturally before resorting to the, you know, the typical drugs approach. Mm -hmm. is, is the movie talks about, gives you a lot of statistics about how good things are and, and things like that. It's getting the common person to take that first step. Yeah. Is, that, would you, is that what the experts said was the big problem? It's, the big problem is really people taking responsibility for their own health. Mm. Because quite, it's so easy to just go to a doctor or to the hospital and put your health in the hands of the, the professionals there who are doing a great job. But I think there needs to be an element of self-responsibility that people need to take when they have an illness. And a lot of people feel that responsibility. And the next step is to educate themselves, books, DVDs, and then make choices that they want to make that will best serve their body. What surprised you about making the film? Um, I think people, we've sort of lost touch with nature, nature you know, and mm -hmm. there's so many amazing things that, you know, that are out there for us to be able to help ourselves with, but, you know, these days we have no time. We have no time to cook anymore. We have no time <laughs> to, you know, we're eating out all the time, but it's just important to make the right choices in regards to what we put in our body, you know, get back into nature, get dig in the ground, have your own little organic veggie garden, you know, right. just to be, to remain in touch with nature. Well, you'd be happy to know that here in Vancouver, they've, they've just approved the chickens being allowed in the city to get your own eggs. Oh, so that's there you great. go. So, oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so there's something uh, that's in this sort of vein. Uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, you have a number of experts in, in the film, mm -hmm. and uh, one expert says, uh, it was one of the main guys, that you, someone in their diet should eat 51% of mm -hmm. raw food. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you get that across to families uh, who have a couple of kids, they both work, yeah. I mean it's, it's it well, seems like it would be a difficult thing. It, it, I mean, some people see it when they're looking at their diet now and how are they going to progress to this level of an extraordinarily healthy diet. Right. And I think the technology for diet change has changed a lot. We're, we've gone away from don't eat this, don't eat meat, don't eat blah, don't, eat, don't drink milk to add in more good foods. Right. So it's like starting small steps, like starting to introduce some more organic food into your diet. Start to have some organic vegetable juice, which is incredible delivering nutrients directly to the cells. Start adding in more foods. And as you add in more, you start to feel better. Mm -hmm. As you feel better, you're more continue to motivate it to pr proceed to an even better quality diet. So it's small steps. Small and one of your doctors said there should be no one tired in the afternoon. It's not you're <laughs> eating the right food. And the one thing I, uh, and I, my wife was watching a bit with me yesterday, and, and there's a lot of things that I've never even heard of that are supposed to be like spirulina. Yeah, it's called. Yeah. Yeah, I've never even heard of that. So yeah. there's a, if, if anything, it's, I mean, we're going to try it because we want to see what it's all about. So. Right. It's in the health food stores. Well, there you go. There you go. Right that's all. If you feel, if you feel who right, would have known, eh? Right? Right, yeah. Well, it's called Food Matter. And uh, if you want to get some more information, there's a website, foodmatters.tv, and you can check it out. And uh, we appreciate you guys taking some time to, to be in. Too. I know you're from uh, Australia through L.A. to here, so thanks for coming up. And uh, will it be in wide release or will it be in videos? It's, or? In, it's coming into health food stores now. It's available okay. off our website at the moment, in health food stores soon, and then into bigger retail later on. All right. Well, it gets you thinking, that's for sure, and that's Fantastic. the idea of a movie, isn't it? Absolutely. It was really great to meet you. Thanks, thanks very much so for being here, both of you. Great to be here. All right, again, uh, foodmatters.tv. Mark? Also